people, there is a race going on right now. Mm -hmm. The race is to get your applications in when they shoot the starting gun. Right. There are going to be, I just read an article, 1,000 immigration officers are being hired to do 10 million applications. Yeah, and, and, and I read that, that, that article too, Brad, and I'm saying that, well, at least we're, we're getting some employment out of it. 1,000 um, people to, to do 10, 10 million. million applications. Okay, that means if you're number seven million online, and by the way, they said, they estimate, the U.S. government estimates six to seven million people are gonna be applying for these programs. It's probably gonna be double. But let's, six to seven million, they said they'll get done by the end of 2016. There, maybe they'll be done by 2017 with six to seven million. Right. God knows when, when it's 10 million people. So there is a race to get your application before one of these 1,000 eyeballs mm -hmm. first. Because if you're not first, somebody else will be. And the way government workers work is at four o'clock or five o'clock, it's putting yeah. time. They don't care how many applications they got. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about DACA and DAPA, Deferred Action for Child. It's after Christmas go. now. You don't have any. You don't have any more excuses not to show up. There you go. All right. You got Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. Mm -hmm. It's going to be about three million people right. are going to get into this program. If you came here under the age of 16, mm -hmm. you've been here for five years. Right. Uh, we don't care whether you graduated high school or not. You're in. Mm -hmm. What are you in for? You're in for a deferred action letter, which is a promise never to deport you. Right. You're in for your work permit, your social, mm -hmm. your driver's license, right. the ability to get advanced parole to travel back and forth. You're in. Right. If you've been here for five years and you have a U.S. citizen born child, a naturalized child, right. a child who has a green card, and that could be a man child or a woman child, because I have a client who is a 51 year old child, older than me, because I'm right. not even 51 yet. Mm -hmm. It's as long as it is your kid, your offspring. We don't mm -hmm. care if it's a child or an adult son or daughter. Okay. You're in. You've been here for five years. You have a, you have an offspring. Let's call it offspring instead of child. Okay. Offspring. You have offspring. Uh, your offspring is uh, a green card holder, conditional green card holder, mm -hmm. or a citizen. You're in. If you've been in deportation, you're in. You've been okay. ordered deported. You're in. As long as you qualify. What are you in for? You're in for deferred action letter, your work permit, your social, your driver's license, the ability to travel, advance parole, you're in. Wow. If you have parents here, and your parents filed for you in the 2000s, mm -hmm. okay, you can't adjust your status here. Okay. Because you're not grandfathered in. You can now get provisional waivers. You can go home for two weeks and come back. Why do I know it's a safe thing to do? Because I've sent about 100 people home already. We've already done it. So we know it works. If you're married, you came here without inspection, you're married to someone who's in the military, or you don't have any entry document, you're married to someone in the military, or you're married to someone who is um, honorably discharged from the U.S. military, we're going to get you something called parole in place. Parole in place allows you to get a document that says you were inspected when you never were inspected. It's a legal fiction. But here you get this parole in place and then it allows you to adjust your status. So for everybody who can't adjust their status who's married to a U.S. citizen, uh, you, know, you know, you make a joke, you say, tell, you, tell your husband or wife to go join the, join the Navy. 1-800-526-7977. Ronald, how are you? How are you doing, sir? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I have a question. Um, I was adopted back in 40 years ago, and I would like to sponsor my birth mother in America. Is you can't. Possible? No, it's not. Once you, once you do the adoption, you can never sponsor your birth mother. She has to find a different wife. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yes. Uh, I want to know uh, uh, if I qualify for that because I have a child over here, and I and I came about about uh, ten years ago. Yes. Have you? Yes. You absolutely qualify. Your child's a citizen of the United States or a resident. So the thing is that the, I haven't I haven't paid taxes over here. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Now let me tell you a little bit about taxes and everything. Okay, uh -huh. you qualify. You should be doing this and running into my office right away. You have a citizen uh -huh. child. You have a citizen child. You've been here for more than five years. Now, if you worked and didn't pay taxes, I'm going to send you out to pay taxes. You're going to probably come back to me and cry and tell me that your tax preparer told you you owe a lot of money. But I have a tax uh -huh. attorney here in my office by the name of Sean Chi. Sean Chi, uh -huh. will, uh, your tax preparer, 99 out of 100 tax preparers, are going to tell you to pay in lump sum or go on a payment plan. We're going to give you a third option. 
A third option is let's negotiate down your taxes. Most tax preparers can't do that because they're not qualified and accredited with the IRS to do it. We are. So we can negotiate down your tax debt so it shouldn't cause you a problem. So don't let the fact that you didn't pay your taxes prevent you from getting immigration benefits because we can help you with everything. 1-800-526-7977. Marcus. Hey, yeah, bro. How you doing, man? Good afternoon. Hey, listen, real yes. quick. I have a, um, a cousin of mine. She came up um, around two years ago. Yes. And what happened is her husband got killed in Jamaica, and, you know, she was afraid for life down there, so she had to leave the country, she and her son. Is there anything you can do for her? Well, she can. She should have filed for some sort of asylum within the first year of her coming here. Um, but uh, if not, if not, she should still come in because there's probably things we can do to help her. She should make an appointment. But I got to right. find out more about why she's scared to return home. All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna have her do that. Thank, right. you, Thank very you very much. much. Okay.